Check these out. Social Status was nice enough to send these over and I think it's time we talk about them. Now, I believe these sold out immediately. Surprisingly, you can still get these on the Amma Menier website. And I even saw that there was a good amount of pairs on Nike.com. I wanna say this is probably my first Amma Menier sneaker. And really the only reason is because Social Status sent me these. I've pretty much struck out on every other pair that's came out because the hype was honestly insane, but not for these. I think one of the most notable things about the Airship is this is the original sneaker that Jordan wore. You know, the one that cost Nike $5,000 a game because the colors weren't right. Even to this date, man, that has been such an astounding fact to me because I didn't know that. I had absolutely no idea. Clearly I wasn't born in 84, 85, but this is the sneaker that, you know, I guess you could say inspired the Air Jordan 1 that we know and love today. Well, hopefully we still love it. All of a sudden everybody says Jordan 1s are played out, but bro, they will never be played out. It's the greatest shoe of all time. Stop playing with me, boy. <laughs> anyway, man. So the Ah, Ma Meniere Airship. What a cool, simplistic design. So this sneaker specifically is called the Understand Your Why. If you guys don't know much about Ah, Ma Meniere, it's owned by the iconic James Whitner. And you guys know, I just recently did a video on the whole scheme situation that's going on. And that's honestly really unfortunate. Just based on, you know, how big this brand, how strong the partnership is. I haven't necessarily read more into the story, but we all know, man, Ah, Ma Meniere represents something way bigger than all of us. If you guys haven't seen the inspiration or kind of the video they did behind the scenes of the sneaker. It was an all black and white shoot, which I thought was really dope. And it kind of gave you like these Black Panther vibes, very simple colors, you're black and white, a lot of leather, protect black women. We know this brand represents empowerment for the black community. Now that doesn't mean, oh, you're white, you can't wear these. It doesn't mean nothing like that, man. It's just, that's the message behind Ama Meniere. And I love the fact that they truly stand by that. You know, I feel like we're missing that element. Actually surprising, but maybe not even surprising. Just interesting how the concepts of their shoes are super bold. Meanwhile, Nike's super toned down. So maybe that's why that partnership is so strong, just because it's given, I guess, in a sense of freedom of speech and the ability to, I don't know, like have a voice within sneakers. So just a really cool concept if you guys didn't know about that. Now, in terms of the sneaker overall, you guys see it is an extremely simple black and white color scheme. Now, retail was $140 on these and they're not the craziest quality, but they are nice. They feel really plush in hand. While the colorway is super simple, honestly, it's still a statement piece. Like I'm gonna show you guys the fit at the end of this video, but in terms of leather quality, nothing phenomenal. It's soft, it's not tumble, by any means. And the thing that I really like about these is the suede elements, or I guess Nubuck. Nubuck, Nubuck, Nubuck. I can't ever remember that. Nubuck is smooth, right guys? Right? After 10 years, we're gonna figure this out. So <laughs> really nice suede around the ankle. Even the swoosh of suede, I really like that. I wish I could just like hand this to you guys because it just feels so good in hand. On the tongue, we have Nike Air and the Ah Ma Meniere hints. On the back of each shoe, we have embossed the Ah Ma Meniere logo and they hit us with the Nike Air on the other tab. And that's pretty much it in terms of just the materials. And one thing I know like a hit and miss is kind of like this aged vintage look that we're going for these days. I find this really interesting in the aspects of, it looks like someone got a paintbrush and just kind of like, grazed upon the sole. Like it's like this orangish hue. It's not necessarily like a yellow cream. It low key looks like, you know, someone was painting or something and it just kind of got on the midsole of the sneaker. And then on the inner layer of the panel throughout where the shoe is stitched, it's kind of like aged and yellow. I would have really liked to been in the factory as they manufactured these just to see how it works. Like as a machine individually stroking each shoe pause, because I even noticed that it's on some of the white parts of the leather, which kind of gives me like, okay, did someone hand paint each one of these shoes? Because this just doesn't seem like something a machine would do, but you never know. Now in terms of the laces, comes with white, black, and then again with that like orange vintage paint splatter. I don't really like those, but I mean, cool option to have. And then we have this Ama Meniere like clip on. I don't really know exactly where that's supposed to go. I do like these airships because the way the sizing is, like you guys can see on the inner side, it just says size 12. One thing that I feel like I have to mention is just, I love how intricate boxes are getting. This is why I really hope this partnership doesn't end with Ama Meniere and they figure out whatever's going on. The entire box is embossed with the Ama Meniere logo, the A. It's in this nice black and white color scheme. I would love to see Jordan Brand do this with other sneakers, man. It's just the subtlest changes, I swear, just make a big difference when you've seen the same thing over and over, you know what I mean? And then we have the 1984 Airship PE. And it's not even just the box. Like guys, look at the paper. You know, like all monogrammed out of the Ah Ma Meniere logo. I like that. Very subtle. The one thing that I, I hate, man, ever since they started doing what, like the remastered series, is just the shoes not being laced. 
And I get everyone likes to lace their shoes differently, but man, it's just a pain, bro. Like I'd be wanting to wear my shoes and it's like, oh, now I gotta sit here and lace these up. Stupid thing to complain about, but you feel what I'm saying, bro? Like you ever just get a brand new pair of kicks and you like, all right, I'm, I'm finna wear these and you wanna take them out and then you're like, damn. I got, you're already late. You know what I'm saying? You're already running late. So now I got to sit and try to lace these up. Nah, I'm telling you guys, I have so many pairs of ones and damn, I sound crazy as hell. Just like complaining about this because it's so stupid, but I have so many pairs of dead stock ones just because I, I don't want to lace them up. Now, if you're interested in the concept of, you know, why these are called the understand your why, definitely go check out the video. But one of the things that I read that I really liked was the aspect of only the disciplined are free and to be disciplined takes solid foundation foundation. Now, the rest of what James said is essentially, those are like the principles and essentials that guide life, the body and the mind. It requires commitment to sacrifice to do this work and consistently to build culture. Without our essential values, we are nothing. Now, that's something that I can get behind. I, I love messages like that, man. I'm really into self-development. If you guys haven't noticed by now, man, like I love to consume knowledge and different types of philosophies and ways of living life. But you want to know like one of the most recent lessons that I've learned and you know, what has kind of really brought me back to YouTube is the aspect of, of no longer focusing on these massive wins and just focusing on the smaller wins. And that can go into the aspect of only the disciplined are free. Because if you notice, man, the most successful people in life are disciplined in some aspect, whether, you know, they don't spend every single cent they make, they focus on their work and they are always getting the work done. They just don't give up. Those are the real essentials to life. And that's where I think this concept can be perceived in so many other ways of, you know, under understanding the why. Yes, of course, focusing on black culture and empowerment, but we still at the end of the day are all human. You know what I'm saying? So we all go through things, whether you're black, white, blue, purple, it don't matter. Understanding your why, why is it that you are doing what you're doing? What, what drives you? Because as soon as you lose sight of that, I think I personally, you know, it's safe to say that you lose yourself. I've done that multiple times in this journey of YouTube. Like I started to inspire, but before I knew it, you know, greed and money and, and all that stuff got in the way and kind of just took me away from, you know, why I started this. I didn't expect to be paid from YouTube or make this a career. I was just making videos because I wanted to help people. I wanted to share my passion with others. And that's what I really like about the concept of this shoe. Understand your why, you know? What's your guys' why? Let me know. I'm gonna lace this other pair up and then we're gonna throw these on feet and I'm telling you, bro, you see the fit right now, man. We going crazy. Did you make me happy? Yeah. Y'all see the little tablet right here so I can see myself. Boy, things. So simple, simplicity, man. Keep it simple. Best lesson of life you could ever learn, man. Keep it simple. Lord knows I'm complex. Okay, okay. Ooh. Yeah, perfect fit. Definitely go true to size. Huh, these are actually, they fit kind of wide. I don't know, this might be, yeah, this is probably my first time ever putting on a pair of airships. I don't know, man, I feel like, I feel like I done transcended back to the, the 80s with these things. I love it, man. I love just the style right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, the skinny jeans thing was cool and all, bro. Kanye did his thing the homeless look, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, man, nothing hits. Like just the, this wave that we're in of just like oversized, boxy, you know, the wider or even slim pants. Like, yeah, this ain't not even slim pants. Like you see me, bro? This is a fit, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like simple, bro. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just loving it. I really am. This is the honor of the gift hoodie, Celine pants. Whole fit is just cozy and fire dude i don't know i don't know that's just my personal opinion but i'm wearing it not you you know what i'm saying so that's the funny thing it's like someone try to tell you your fit's trash it's like you ain't wearing my fit bro so i you don't matter it's like someone trying to tell you something about your food when you the one eating it what makes me happy about doing this review is the fact that if you want these you can go pick them up and even if they're out in your size you know they're they're not going for anything crazy over retail but yeah, go true, definitely go true to size on them. There's so many different fits that you can pull off with these and they're actually pretty comfortable. I almost want to say uh, these feel a little wider than a typical Jordan one. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody owns a pair of digging these. And it's just such a versatile shoe being that it's white and black and then kind of like that age look. Perfect to pull out like some graphic tees, all that. I know you guys probably want to see a better on um, foot out the pants over there. That's just, that's how I would wear them, man. That's why I like to wear a lot of Jordan one lows just because the way my pants sit on the shoe, even with these, like that looks 
amazing no you know type you can kind of see the swoosh but it's nothing crazy and it just kind of complements the outfit that's pretty much all i have for you guys that is the odd mom and your airship let me know if the sneaker is a cop or a drop and i'll see you guys in the next one run it S -N -E -R now. a sneaker life hey 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 a sneaker life